Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. What I'm going to be talking about this morning is this guy right down here. I've got this camera trained on my MacBook Pro. But this is a demonstration of a weather program called WX. And at the end of this file, I'll try to put the author's URL in. But all you got to do is just go to the App Store, Apple's App Store, and just type in WX and you'll get to it. Now, the reason why I'm even talking about this, because I don't know how you folks feel, but up here in Montana where I'm at, I definitely have to do it. For my well-being and my health and whatnot, have you, I, have to, I have to have a good weather app. And this is one of the best I've seen. Okay, now if you look up here, you can see this mouse cursor where that over on the sidebar on the left hand side you'll see where it says home okay and that's that's giving you this data right in here you know we got Thursday today if you hover over Thursday in the morning here you got the sunrise and how long a day is and if you go over to Thursday night it gives you when sunset is and and uh, moon phase, and the same with, say, like Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and so forth, and all like that. Okay, now let me go over here to the left-hand sidebar, and right down here where this gear is at, here's where you load all your maps. Now just take a look at all them. I mean, we've got national forecasts, conus high temps, conus low temps, and it just goes on and on and on. And you can also insert your own custom URLs in there and whatnot, have you? Because that's exactly what this is right here. Okay, you've got home, but right here is U.S. radar loop. And that's actually running and whatnot, have you? And by the way, this, this app right here is not hard on resources or anything like that. It'll run on OS X. 10.6 and higher. I'm on the latest version of Yosemite, but here is a GOES CONUS IR map right there. You see what I'm doing here now? Here's a GOES CONUS uh, WV map. Here's a Northern Rockies radar loop. Here's Pacific Northwest. I mean, this weather app right here, like I say, is about one of the best I've seen. It generates a lot of data and I mean a lot of data it's very easy to configure I'm like I say I'm running on OS X uh, 10.10 10, 10, 10 10.10.3 is exactly what I'm running on Yosemite now there's the upper Mississippi Plain Southern Plains here's this Kona sky cover Right there. Okay, let me scroll down here a little bit. I've only got the maps in here and the data in here that I particularly need. And there's a, a possibility of precipitation, the Kona's possibility of precipitation. Okay, let's go up to home, and that would be, you know, where you live. And you can also put numerous places in here that you need to trigger on, like if you're a traveling business man. But see my cursor right here? We're going to go down these little buttons right here. And this right here gives you a bunch of graphs. You've got high temps, low temps, relative humidity, uh, cloud cover, wind speed, you know, gust wind speed, and data like that. So you got all that kind of stuff going for you. And, okay, and you go right here like this, and this is a detailed weather report, if you will. This one here, uh, I live in Livingston, Montana, and this is coming off the airport mission field, okay? You know this button down here, and this is where your severe alerts are at. And out here in the west, in Montana where I'm at, believe you me, this weather is ever-changing. It can get flat, dangerous. Uh, we just got done going through 10 days of solid, nothing but winter-like conditions. Fog, mist, I, I didn't see the sun for, for a doggone week. Okay, this button down here, and 
I've got this set for short range composite reflect re reflectivity, but as you can see right there, you can, you know, there's quite a few different maps you can stick in here. Here's long range, uh, a long range radar loop. But first of all, I better turn it on. See my cursor right here? You just turn this guy on, and there's your weather running right there. There's your radar. Now, the author of this program, his name is Mr. Craig Hunter. He has told me through email that he's going to kind of spruce up these uh, radar maps. Personally, I don't see anything wrong with anything, but he wants to have the ability to zoom in and out and what not have you. So, But there you are. And this thing, like I say, it renders a lot of data. It is a very good app. Uh, you can get it on iPad and on iPhone. I'm not sure if Craig writes it for Windows or Android, but it's I do believe it's primarily a, uh, a win, uh, Mac product here. I'm trying to kind of talk and look at this at the same time, so it's kind of hard here. But there you go. That short range of composite reflectivity right there. I'm not the best meteorologist in the world, but I fought with enough harsh weather in my day to, to know. Uh, now, for you folks that live in Tornado Alley and places like this, or, or places that's affected by hurricanes, a, a program like this would definitely do you some good, probably even save some lives. That's my point here. You know, because out here in Montana, like I say, this weather can get very adverse. We can get into whiteouts. All kinds of crazy stuff happens. Snowstorms, you just never know. Now, the way I look at a program like this, it's a lifesaver. And right here, this main pane that you see me going up and down, it's 35 degrees in Livingston, Montana right now. We've got wind speed right here. You got your dew point, uh, visibility in miles, and you know the barometric pressure and things like that. So, this is a very, very good program. Uh, it's highly recommended. It does cost twelve dollars, but if you need a good weather program and you're on a Mac, I would not look any further than WX Rope by Craig Hunter. It's just that doggone simple. Okay, I can see this video is quite long. I better get gone. Have a good day, ladies and gentlemen, and thank you very much for uh, reviewing the video here.